Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing another Tasker tutorial for you today. Now, this is basically because I've received a few requests to make some more tutorials. It's been a little while, but my first one that I did seems to be a really big success, which was the voice control camera um, Tasker tutorial. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can check that out. It's a lot longer than what this is going to be, but it's also a lot more in depth. So it shows you kind of a wide range of what you can do with Tasker and some uh, extra plugins. This one is going to be, like I said, pretty quick and easy. Um, what I'm basically going to do is set it up to where when you're in a secured Wi-Fi area, for instance, I'm at home, I don't want to have to enter in a pin code. So instead of having to do this to unlock your phone and start using it while you're at home, I'm secure here. So I don't care to have to do that. I'm going to design this to disable that feature. And then when I leave my home or leave the secured Wi-Fi area that I choose, then it'll re-engage that lock. So there are two apps that you need. Obviously, the first one's going to be Tasker. The second one is called Secure Settings. Secure Settings gives you a very wide range of um, uh, like system setup and security stuff. So, you know, honestly, I'm not going to go through all the options because there's just a huge list. It's a great app. I'll put a link down in the in the uh, descriptions so you can check that out. I do recommend checking it out and seeing all the different things that it can do because you might find it. It does something extra that you want to do. Um, for this reason, though, I'm going to be using the function that allows it to disable and re-enable the lock uh, pin lock. Um, so go ahead, download that. Now, for starters, you do need root on this, so sorry if you don't have that. Um, you do have to get that. I've also converted this uh, HTC One to the Google Play edition. That way, um, it, it'll look a lot similar to people using like Nexus devices and other things like that. So trying to make it a little bit easier for everyone. Anyways, let's get into this. So of course, got to launch Tasker and set up a new profile. And this one I'm just going to label Safe Zone. If I could spell here. All right, so we got the first step we want to do is the trigger. Um, the trigger is going to be under state. And what we're doing is using the Wi-Fi to trigger this setup. So go into there and Wi-Fi connected. Now this is pretty simple because you can either just enter in the name of the Wi-Fi system, the SSID that you already know, but it's even easier. You just hit the little search there and select the Wi-Fi that you're on. Um, you can also select all of them. So if you're at work or you know multiple multiple places, you can select multiple Wi-Fi's to trigger this action. So I'll just select the one I'm on, and then once you go back out, it'll bring you up to start a new task. And this one I'm going to label unlock. All right, let's get started. So I like to give my device kind of a character. Um, so basically what I mean is I'm going to give it a voice. When it's going to do something, it's going to alert me and, and physically tell me that it's going to be doing something or something's happening. So first thing I'm going to do is enter in a, a say command. Now, I can't remember exactly where it is at the moment. And the reason why is because I've gotten really accustomed to using this filter tab on the bottom here. And basically, that, that's a search. It just allows you to search. So I'm looking for the say um, action, and it pops it right up. So that's a nice little feature to use to, if you already know what you're looking for, just type it in and, and go. It's real quick and easy. So in the say action, basically, you get the text, which is what it's going to physically say, and then a bunch of different areas where you can um, change, like the pitch of the voice, how fast it says it. Um, stream, I believe, is like where it's going to come out of. I, I don't mess with that. I just leave it on media because it's the media. Voice engine is if you have other voice engines installed. Um, there's a couple of them out there on the Play Store that have like more naturally speaking or different sounds of voices and stuff like that. So you can change how that is um, and, and so on. So I'm just going to leave everything default for this tutorial and put in for the first thing. I want it to tell me that it's now in a uh, a safe zone. So I'll put um, entering safe zone. And unlocking device. Now, of course, you can put whatever you want it to say right there. So give it a, you know, your own character. So after you finish that, just go back and then 
personally, I like to keep things a little bit more fluid. So I, I give wait times after things like, like say commands and stuff like that. So to get in, just put wait and give it a one second wait. Back out. Then next we're gonna use the plugin, which is right over here. And the plugin is secure settings. And this is where, um, or the function that you need the root with. Now it's not gonna really tell you anything about root unless you haven't set it up yet and it might ask for the root permissions. Um, and then you just go ahead and hit that little pencil icon and it brings you into the um, actions menu. Now for what I'm gonna do now is when I connect to my Wi-Fi that I have set up here, it's gonna unlock or disable the pin code. So that's under the dev admin actions and it's down here, password pin. And when you first open it, it's not gonna have this box checked. It's gonna look like this. So you wanna check that because that gives you, uh, gives the phone um, admin or uh, administrator uh, permission basically. And so make sure that one is checked. Second one, I don't find it necessary. I haven't had any issues, but if you have an issue to where it's requiring a password before it unlocks, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that and uh, enter in the password, but I don't. I leave it un unlocked. Um, do note here, it says that if you, um, uh, you must disable the, the device admin before you uninstall this plugin. So if you don't want this anymore on your phone, make sure you come back here and disable that, okay? Otherwise, the uh, pin word, uh, password pin is on disable as default right now. That's what I want it to do. So I just hit the little save icon and it goes back out and I'm good with that. Then I want to do one other thing using that plugin. So what I'm going to do now is set up the, let's see, go back into secure settings, configuration, come on, and actions. And I'm going to turn off the key guard. Key guard is that, um, you know, you get the little lock icon, even though your device isn't password or, or protected, you still swipe to go away from that main, that first screen to get to your home screen. I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want that to even be on. I also want it to run in the background because otherwise it'll give me a little notification up here that continuously tells me, hey, your key guard's off, you wanna turn it back on. Um, so I'm gonna just run it in the background. I don't wanna see that notification. Back out. And then give it here a very slight wait time, just again for fluidity. And then one second. And after it's done doing it, I want to let want the device to tell me that it's done. So one more say command. Say action. And it's just gonna say device unlocked. And that's it. So you're set with the initial unlock setup. So everything you've done here is once Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi that you've chosen is connected, it'll let you know that it's entering a safe zone or whatever comment you want it to say. Um, it'll wait and then it'll clear out the password, disable the, the key guard, um, wait another second, and then give you a command that basically it's finished. And if you want, you can test that. So you hit the little play icon down here and it'll run it through. Entering safe zone, unlocking device. And it waits, it's unlocking, it's doing this, wait some more. Device unlocked. And then it says, and now it's finished. So back out, make sure to completely back out like that because that's what actually saves that task. So make sure you back out to your home screen here before uh, doing anything more. So next step is to um, tell this when you leave that Wi-Fi or no longer connected to that specific Wi-Fi, to relock the device. That way when you leave your home or your secured area that you have set up, it goes back into being secure in case you lose your device or whatever and you don't have you know, somebody going through your personal stuff. So to do that, Tasker has a really nice function. If you press and hold over here on the task, it brings up this menu and it gives an end task. End task is basically meaning whenever the opposite of this happens, you're gonna do a new task. So when it's disconnected, instead of see it says Wi-Fi connected, so when Wi-Fi is disconnected, it'll do this next thing. We'll set up a new one, which is called lock. And this is to lock the device. And again, I want some focal feedback. So I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say leaving. Leaving safe zone. And 
and lock device. Alright, again I'm going to just leave everything default, but you can play around with those settings to see you know, how you want the voice to sound, if you want it to sound a higher pitch voice, or if you want it to say it faster, stuff like that. But default for just this tutorial. Um, give it another wait time, just again, I like it to be fluid and smooth, I don't want everything to just jump on on top of each other and just you know, repeat it so fast, so I give it a little bit of wait. That's again, personal preference, so that's up to you if you want to give it wait, you can have it short, shorter wait, longer wait, or no wait at all. Now we get into locking it up. So again, we go into the plug-in settings, secure settings, and this time we're going into dev admin actions, password pin, and this time we're clicking this to enable. Now this is enabling it, and you get an option either a password or a pin code. I like to keep it short, just do a pin code for, for sake, you know, again, you can put whatever you want here. I'm just doing one, two, three, four, make sure to confirm and done and save and that's it back out i'm going to give it one more verbal thing and like i said I like i like the weights one second and now a say command and it's going to say device locked That way, I know it's finished. Okay, so now that we have it all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off the Wi-Fi to simulate what it would do when you leave the safe area. Leaving safe zone, locking device. Device locked. So now everything should be locked up. Come back into the thing and you got to your password you have to enter in. Pretty simple, right? I probably should plug in some power so it doesn't die on me here. And when you come back into your safe area, toggle it back on. Entering safe zone, unlocking device. Device unlocked. Now it should be unlocked. And as you can see, it comes right back to the home screen. So there you go, all set up, ready to browse the internet or do whatever you need at home without having to worry about the cumbersome password. You know, being at home, you're pretty safe. So anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down below. It's still always a learning process for me. I'm, I'm more than eager to listen to what you guys think and, um, you know, give me some ideas possibly, and I can figure out how to make it work. Um, other than that, give me that thumbs up. Let me know if you like what's going on. And until next time, enjoy it.